welcome back to my Corrado project and in this episode I am going to be rebuilding these ATE style calipers now these found on Mark 4s, Mark 5s and a lot of the brands so let's see what we got in the kit so kit is two sides so one side there's the outer boot stretchy boot there's the inner seal that goes inside the body and the piston moves through and then you've got two guides you also get the red grease and the silicon grease the silicon grease is for the guide pins which have already cleaned up and this is the assembly paste so I've already painted these or if you actually took off a fairly used caliper pistons out here anyway so you can either keep pushing and get it get it to pop out while it's still on the vehicle but you're going to lose a lot of brake fluid that way or if it's partly out you're going to be able to lever it or get some vice grips and just pull it out easier so the, the, the method I'm going to use because I've got compressed air I'm going to use compressed air Oh, the alternative method, which is probably a bit more preferred. As you can see, it's not playing ball. That should just slide straight out. So I'm quite happy that this one is getting a rebuild because the other one just pops straight out So I'm quite happy that I'm rebuilding this one because as you can see that was really tight and would have possibly caused me problems in the future. The main reason I was using the workmate outside was that's the sort of thing that people are more likely to have than having a nice vice on a bench. So I could, it would have been a lot easier in the vice and it would have been a lot easier if this wasn't painted because it just, just would have clamped it down somewhere pulled it and then maybe painted it later or just cleaned it up now the only thing that we've done off camera is actually clean that up i just run a file over there and just ran that through a wire wheel if you get the more expensive kit you get a replacement one of these and i think a bleed nipple as well so guy pins this is where your silicon grease comes in i need to use a little bit and i always prefer this over copper grease anyway but just smear a very little bit around there semi clean finger and remember they go that way and just by hand you should get it to almost come through where it overlaps there and do the same thing again I'm going to put a bit more on that one that's roughly how much you should be putting in just turn it move it and it's in. You can you feel how how that moves. So there's no no binding on there. Right. So this one next. Screwdriver in there, and just pull it out. You 
just see it build up a rust a little bit around there but not as much as the rear aluminium ones so that's good now this is the only special tool now you could use it with a screwdriver quite easily if you've got something that's a little pick that makes it a lot easier like old dirty cloth just to get rid of a lot of the brake fluid that's in there and you'll be able to see how big that chamber is just take the rust off the bit where the top of this sits so just what you can see here a bit faster and that's this is where the pick really comes into use just trying to get rid of some of that dust with the brake cleaner Just a little thin layer of rust in there. It's not very deep, so I'm quite happy with that. Main thing is that it's just checking that all oh, that's nice and clean. Got a clean bit of cloth. This is the bit that you really want to make sure is spotless. Just see, that sits on the inside. That's the room that it sits in. So we're going to go the opposite way. So it's almost as if you're putting it on back to front. seems wrong but that's the right way to do it Let's take a little bit of this clean fingers just put a bit of red paste on that seal put a generous sort of smidgen round then you're just going to put a little bit Here. Needs a little bit on that bit. And then put more on this lip. It's got a little bit of a lip, and that little bit of a lip, where it's just took off the edge of the bevel, is where the seal actually goes around. So I know that's the old seal. But yeah, you can just sort of sit, so you're going to guide it in as straight as possible. What we're going to do, we're going to put that ridge in the first ceiling base and then put the piston down. So this is where it gets exciting. looks like it's pretty much gone straight in just look that, that it's all settled and then we're simply gonna try and line this up by hand not forcing it too much put it down so it's sort of halfway and then this is suddenly gonna fall into place in there all the way around we've 
you've got a pair of calipers all ready to go back in your vehicle now. now I'm quite happy with them. New seals, new rubbers, makes it look a hell of a lot better. That's able to move a lot more freer. If you found that useful and you like other VW content, subscribe wherever the subscribe thingy is. Who knows? If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if I've saved you some money, go down to the description. Not only look at the eBay links, but you can buy me a coffee. And if you're interested in other VW content, you want to see how I get on with this VW Corrado, which I've transplanted a newer style TDI engine into to try and get amazing miles per gallon. I'm aiming for 77. That's just a nice round number. Don't think I'll achieve it, but hey ho, let's give it a go. Thanks very much for watching.